Question 5. Note that this topic area is not covered in the Mathematics Standard 2 syllabus, first examined in 2019, but has been included for completeness. Which of the following nets can be folded to form a triangular pyramid? The net of a solid shape is the set of two-dimensional shapes that, when connected and folded in a particular way, will form that solid shape. And nets of solid shapes are useful, for example, in finding the surface area of that particular solid shape. Now, in this question, the solid shape is a triangular pyramid, and we want to find which one of these three nets, and there could be more than one of them, that when folded will form a triangular pyramid. I'm going to demonstrate this using a set of magnetic sticks that can be folded and formed to show which one of these three will form a triangular pyramid when folded. Let's consider the first net. Now the red triangle formed using these magnetic sticks represents the center triangle here. And we have the yellow, blue and green triangles are the three outer triangles there. Now if we take the outer triangles, fold them upwards, and I'll try and fold these up as best as possible. Now they won't fold all the way such that the three points join at the center, but we can see that if we were to join them up so that they all connect, we will form a triangular pyramid with these outer points here coming together to form the apex or the top of that triangular pyramid. So net number one is one of the possible nets that will form a triangular pyramid. So option D is incorrect since it does not include net number one. Let's consider the second net. The red triangle is this triangle here at the bottom. The blue triangle is this triangle here. The green triangle is this triangle here. And the yellow triangle is this triangle here at the top. I'm gonna to try and fold this to form a triangular pyramid, if possible. So hopefully I can fold it to form a triangular pyramid. So if I fold these two up, I'm going to have an issue with this vertex here. And that certainly won't work. If I try and fold it this way, that's not going to work either. So it looks like whichever way I try and fold these magnetic sticks, it's not going to form a triangular pyramid, or at least a pyramid that has a triangle as its base. I could form a pyramid that has a square base. If I take this center vertex and lift it up, and these two vertices then come together, but the question is asking for a net of a triangular pyramid, not a square-based pyramid. So net number two will not work. So any option that includes net number two in the response is incorrect. So option D and option B both suggest net number two. So both of those options are incorrect. Let's consider the third net. So the red triangle here represents the leftmost triangle here and the green triangle represents the rightmost triangle here. And the blue triangle is this triangle there, and the yellow triangle is this triangle here. So let's try and fold this in such a way that it forms a triangular pyramid. So we might fold it up this way, that way, and this one comes up there, I think this will work. Okay, so unfortunately, these magnetic sticks will not allow me to fold it all the way so as to connect all the relevant vertices. But I can see that this will clearly form a triangular pyramid. So net number three is a valid net for a triangular pyramid. Therefore, the answer is option C.